So here is DWAC, Digital World Acquisition Corp, or True Social. This finishes at 56.94 today. That is down 10%. It's gone. Please like the video, please subscribe, and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here is TWTR Twitter. This finishes at $50 today. That is up 27.12%. So major price action on the stock today. This did make top 10 on stock twits. So we're going to analyze it. So there was a reason as to why the stock went up so much today. We did have some major news. So let's check that out. I have an article from CNBC here. Twitter just had its best day since IPO. Thanks to Elon Musk. Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk acquired a 9.2% passive stake in the company. Shares closed up more than 27%. The company closed up nearly 73% after its public debut on November 7, 2013. Big, big news here. Elon Musk now owns a tenth of Twitter. What? So this is pretty interesting. I believe last week he tweeted, he made a poll saying, should he start his own social media? And I guess he's not going to start his own social media, but he is going to be the biggest shareholder in Twitter. And also, I think he's going to get in trouble with the SEC a little bit because you're supposed to disclose your holdings within 10 days. And it appears like it took him 20 days to disclose his stake. So he might get fired by the SEC. Don't really think he cares though. He has said publicly that he hates the SEC. So yeah, big news there. And just in general, tech did really well today. Market really liked it, jumped in here and started buying the stock up. So up 27% today, very nice. So let's go ahead and analyze here. So first of all, we do have a double gap down. First gap down is around $65. So that's a bullish indicator. That is telling us that the stock should eventually come back up to $65 to fill this gap. And then we have another gap down at $61. So another bullish indicator there that is telling us that the stock should come back up to $61 to fill this gap. May take a while, but eventually they should fill. We do have this cup and handle in the making. Big cup and handle here. Bottom of the cup being around $31, the yearly low. And there can be multiple possible tops. It can be 53, 67, or even the high of 73. So those are all bullish indicators. That is telling us that the stock should run to the upside back to one of those tops to complete the cup. And in the aftermarket here, this is running up to 5040. So that is a bullish indicator for tomorrow. That is suggesting that the stock will run to the upside tomorrow as well. And then today we did have a gap up at around $40. So that is a bearish indicator that is suggesting that the stock will come back down to $40 to fill that gap. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 50-50 and 49.15. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 51.95, 52.45, 53.05, 54, 54.75, 55.25, 55.95, 57.30, 58.40, 58.90, 59.50, 50, and then 60.10. There is resistance above 60.10, but we're not going to discuss that right now. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 49.15, and then 39.30. There is support below 39.30, but we're not going to discuss that right now. So right now at this current price, $50. The channels to the upside and the downside are pretty wide, so expect significant price action either way this goes. However, if slash when this breaks 58.40 to the upside, the channel starts to narrow. And to the downside, if slash when this breaks 47.20, the channel starts to narrow. So from 58.40 down to 47.20, expect significant price action. Above and below there, expect regular price action. RSI is currently at 80, so that is very overbought, very overvalued, so be careful guys. And this did 266 million in volume today. Very significant volume, way above the average. That is actually the biggest volume day ever for this stock. So this pump today was confirmed by the volume. All right, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. So long term, this is definitely a really good stock to buy and hold to Diamond Hands. Big social media company, blue chip value stock. Got some pretty strong bullish indicators in the long term in the double gap down and the big cup and handle. However, in the short term, we are starting to get some pretty strong bearish indicators in the RSI, high volume, and gap up. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice, 
I would not do that, and I would not recommend that at this point. I think you already missed your chance. Went up 27% today, and it may have a little bit more upside, honestly. This may keep running to 53, maybe even 55-ish, but I don't think there's too much more upside. And if you were to go long here, that would be FOMO. I think going long here at 50 would be a medium risk, low reward play. There is still potential money to be made to the upside, but I think it's just way too risky. Not really worth it at this point. So I think what you should do is hold off for right now. This should pull back, I think, to around $40 where it gapped up today. Uh, and I think that would be a really excellent entry. So I don't like the entry of $50. If you're a little patient here, you should be able to get this back at $40 and lower. And if it pulls back below $40, then you can just average down at the supports that are in the chart. Now, if you want to go short now financial advice, seems like a pretty decent play. Again, I do think this will pull back in the short term to around $40 to fill the gap. Very strong bearish indicators right now. High RSI, high volume, gap up. So again, this may still have a little bit more upside, but really shouldn't run too much higher. And there's a good amount of downside potential. You should be able to make 20% here on the short side uh, if this falls back to 40. So I would say going short here would be a low risk, medium reward play. You know, this is a blue chip stock, value stock, really shouldn't go mooning to the upside. Really shouldn't go tanking either, but... Give it some time and this should slowly start to bleed back down to 40. So normally I don't really like shorting blue chip value stocks, but this appears to be very overbought and overvalued at the moment. So uh, this should pull back, but I would say definitely cover when it hits 40. This is not really one you want to hold for that long on the short side. So get in, get your money, get out. But yeah, I think this one is pretty straightforward guys. Long term, definitely a good stock, but in the short term, this just popped on good PR today. And should start to pull back pretty soon. So I don't, So I wouldn't go long right now. I would hold off. Wait for this to come back to 40 or lower. And going short appears to be a pretty decent play at the moment. So congratulations to everyone who made money in the stock today. Consider taking profits if you're up. Not financial advice. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock. And to everyone looking to take a position. This is TWTR Twitter. So here is TSLA Tesla. This finishes at $1,145. That is up 5.61%. So, very big day for this stock. Tesla has been running like crazy the past couple of weeks, and it's still going here. So, this did make top 10 on stock twist today, so we're going to analyze it. So, no company-specific news to justify this price action today, but again, Elon Musk did make big news today with Twitter, so it's possible that Tesla is trading in sympathy with Twitter. Tech is going up a lot today. NASDAQ did really well, and we did have a few price upgrades, so let's check that out. So, JP Morgan upgrades to 335 which is still really bearish. UBS upgrades to 1100. Cohen upgrades to 790. So three price upgrades there. Although all of them do think that the stock should be worth less. But yeah, all around, really good stuff for the stock today. So the stock is up 5.6% today. Very nice. Let's go ahead and analyze now. So first of all, this does appear to be a big cup and handle in the making. Bottom of the cup being around 700. And it looks like the top is either going to be 1207 or the high of 1243. So that is currently a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should run back up to one of those tops to complete the cup. This also looks like a bull flag in the making. No confirmation just yet, but this appears to be a big flag pull forming. So all we need is some pullback to get some confirmation on the flag. And that would be a bullish indicator that is suggesting that the stock may want to break out to the upside. And we do have a gap up at around 1,020. So that is a bearish indicator that is suggesting that the stock should come back down to 1,020 to fill this gap. And if you guys want to follow along, the link to the chart is in the description down below. So right now, this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 1148 and 1137. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 1148, 1162, 1175, 1208, and then the high of 1243 and that is the all-time high so no resistance above that and if this goes to the downside next levels of support would be 1137 1116 1100 1079 1065 1055 1043 1026 1019 1001 985 967 949 937 926 910 and then 900. There is support below 900, but we're not going to discuss that right now. So right now at this current price, 1145, the channels to the upside and the downside are very wide. So expect significant price action either way this goes. RSI is currently at 74. So that is overbought and overvalued. So be careful guys. And this did 27 million in volume today, which is a little bit below average. So this pump today was confirmed by the volume. 
Okay, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. Long term, this is definitely a good stock to hold. Apes love this stock. Institutions love this stock. Everyone loves this stock. It is the future. I do think this has the potential to come back up to 1207 or the high of 1243. But I do think in the short term, we are starting to get some pretty bearish indicators here. And I do think it's going to pull back. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice, I would not do that. And I would not recommend that at this point. I think you already missed a huge opportunity in the past couple of weeks. You know, you should have went long in the 700s. And here at 1145, I think it's a bit too late to go long. I think you'd be FOMOing in at this point. So while there is still more upside potential, I think it's a bit too dangerous. I would say going long here would be a medium risk, low reward play. Just not really worth it in my opinion. It's not a terrible play, especially if you're going to diamond hands. But if you're a little bit patient here, you should be able to get a better price. So instead of going long here, I would hold off, wait until this pulls back down to 1020 where the gap is, and I think that'd be a pretty good entry. And if it pulls back below 1020, then you can just average down at the supports that I mentioned before. So I don't like the entry of 1145. I would support going long at 1020 and lower. Now, if you want to go short now, financial advice, seems like a pretty decent play. Again, I do think this will pull back down to 1020. So that would be around a 10 to 15% downside. Not the most money in the world, but pretty decent money. So I would say going short here would be a low risk, medium reward play. Again, shouldn't really go too much further to the upside. And there is a decent amount of downside potential here. So it's not the greatest play in the world, but looks like a relatively easy 10 to 15% gain here on the downside. It appears like Tesla should have some healthy pullback coming up here soon. So I would support going short at 11.45 and I would say cover at 10.20. So personally, I wouldn't really go for it. I don't really believe in shorting these blue chip value stocks, especially Tesla. Many people have tried shorting Tesla before in the past and never really worked. So you can make money on the short side here. You just have to get in, get your money, get out. You know, this is a quick scalp for sure. Don't really want to hold this one for that long on the short side. There are way better short plays out there in the market than Tesla right now. So it's a decent play, but you should be able to easily find better plays out there in the market. So yeah, guys, I think this one is pretty straightforward. Long term, definitely a great stock to buy and hold. Short term, this has been running like crazy. So I do believe this is due for some healthy pullback. So I don't think you should go long right now. I think you should hold off and you should be able to get a better price at 1020. And if you want to go short, you should be able to make some decent money at this current price. And I would say cover around 1020. But again, there are way better short plays out there in the market than Tesla right now. So congratulations to everyone who made money in the stock today. And good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is TSLA Tesla. So here is DWAC, Digital World Acquisition Corp, or True Social. This finishes at 56.94 today. That is down 10%. And it's gone. So we haven't talked about this stock in a while, but this did have some major price action. Made top 10 on stock switch today. So once again, we're going to analyze it. So there was a reason as to why this stock went down so much today. We did have some news. So let's check that out. So the news is that two top executives have left the company. Josh Adams, which is the chief of technology, and Billy Boozer, who is the product development head, have both resigned. So pretty bearish news there. It's not even been two months since the platform went live and it already looks kind of dysfunctional. And in addition to that, again, Elon Musk buying a 10% stake in Twitter. So that may have had to do something with this pullback as well. People buying Twitter and selling DWAC because they are competitors. So yeah, some bearish stuff going on for the stock today. Pulls back 10%. Pretty nasty. So let's go ahead and analyze here. So first of all, this looks like a cup and handle in the making. Bottom of the cup being 37.65. And there can be multiple possible tops. It can be 98.30, which if it is, that would currently be a bearish indicator because that would mean the cup already topped out and should pull back from there, which it currently is. Or the top can be 120 and 175, which would be bullish indicators. We did have a gap down today at around $59. So that is a bullish indicator that is telling us that the stock should come back up to $59 eventually to fill this gap. In the aftermarket here, this is pulling back down to 56 15 so that is a bearish indicator for tomorrow that is suggesting that tomorrow this stock will continue to sell off and it's pretty hard to see but way back here when this first ipo'd uh, there is a gap up at around 950 that is a bearish indicator that is suggesting that the stock may come back down to 950 to fill that gap and that looks pretty unlikely at this point but you never know it is possible so keep that in mind guys and if you guys want to follow along the link to the chart is in the description down below so right now this is trading between the sideways channel the rectangle of 60.05 and 55.50. So if this goes to the upside, next levels of resistance would be 60.05, 63.10, 65.60, 67.50, 70.20, 74.60, 77.45, 81.10, 
9430, 9430, 9435, 9410, and then 9830. There is resistance above 9830, but we're not going to discuss there right now. And if this goes to the downside, next levels of support would be 5550, 5345, 5115, 4845, 4470, 4090, and then 3765. There is support below 3765, but we're not going to discuss that right now. So right now with this current price, 5694, the channels to the upside and the downside are pretty wide. So expect significant price action either way this goes. RSI is currently at 30. So this is officially in oversold undervalued territory. So this could be a good buying opportunity, not financial advice. And this did almost 5 million in volume today, which is some pretty decent volume. So the sell-off today was confirmed by the volume. Okay, guys, just my opinion, not financial advice. And this is just based on the chart. Personally, I don't think True Social is that great of a platform itself. But based on the chart here, it does appear like in the short term, this has more downside to go. But eventually, pretty soon here, this should start to bottom out, catch support, and reverse. So therefore, if you want to go long, not financial advice. Seems like a pretty good play to me. So I'm not sure how low this is going to go, but I really don't think there's too much more downside. We are getting some pretty strong bullish indicators in the gap down and the low RSI right now. This already pulled back pretty significantly from $100. It's oversold, undervalued right now. So sooner or later, this should start to bottom out, catch support and reverse. So I can't support going long at 57. That's already a pretty decent entry. But if you're a little patient here, you should be able to get a little better. So I can't support going along at $57 and lower. And if it pulls back below 57, then you can just average down at the supports that I mentioned before. Although I think the better thing to do would be just to hold off and observe the price action, see when this starts to bottom out, catch support, and then you want to come in and make your move before it reverses. Now, if you want to go short now financial advice, I would not do that and I would not recommend that. I think you're a little too late here. Really should have went short at 100. You would have made some really fat profit. Here at 57, I think it's a bit too late. Again, we have the strong bullish indicators in the gap down and low RSI. So you don't really want to short this while this is undervalued and oversold. So going short here would be FOMO. Definitely thank you, Mr. Chance. And really no reason to go short here at this point. I think going short here would be a high risk, low reward play. Doesn't really make too much sense. Just move on, look for another play. No need to waste your time with this one. Probably gonna end up going bad if you do. So yeah, I think this one is pretty straightforward, guys. This has been pulling back pretty significantly ever since it hit 100. Still appears like there's more downside to go, but really shouldn't be too much more. So it looks like a good buying opportunity coming up here and really no reason to go short. So sorry to everyone who lost money in the stock today and good luck to everyone currently in the stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is DWAC, Digital World Acquisition Corp or True Social. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video, please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, Diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.